Hi guys, this is Jessica. This is my very first YouTube video and I thought I would do a uh, semi-review and demonstration of the new Stamp Perfect tool from Hampton Arts um, and kind of just talk about the differences between some of the different products that are on the market right now. Uh, so here I have three stamp positioning tools. This top one is the Misty. It's the original stamping uh, positioning tool um, and it does have a higher price point. I got mine on sale, uh, so I think I only paid around $35 for this. This one is the Mini Misty, um, but they do have a higher price point than the other two options that I have here today. Um, this, like I said, is the Mini Misty, so it's the smallest of the three styles I believe that there are. Uh, so there's the Mini Misty, the regular standard size Misty, and then there is a 12 by 12 scrapbooking Misty. Um, and those do obviously go up in price with the larger sizes. Um, but this is the first one that I got. Um, it fits a 4x6 card in there perfectly um, with a little bit of wiggle room. If you want to keep your card in this little embedded area here where it's got the ridge, uh, you don't have a ton of extra room to move around with that 4x6 card if you want to maybe create your own background with stamped images, um, things like that. You don't have a ton of room unless you use something like maybe this graph paper here uh, or grid paper that will let you kind of um, slide your paper out without getting caught or kind of having a ridge in your stamped image. Um, so the size for this one is uh, a little restricting sometimes, but they do have the larger options if you'd like to go that route. Um, this does come with the two magnets that you see here. Um, they are very, very strong. You want to keep them away from each other because they might break um, or pinch you if they come together too quickly. I've had that happen a couple of times where I've gotten pinched and it's not a good feeling. <laughs> uh, so it comes with the two magnets so that you can hold your paper down. Um, it does come with this sample of grid paper here um, that you can use to uh, either stamp out an image in advance or really just use it to get things lined up the way that you need it. Um, it's really nice uh, to be able to have the grid here and here. <clears throat> it does have everything marked out for you as far as the numbering. Um, so you've got a nice ruler on each side so that you can get everything lined up. It does also have a foam pad back here that comes out so that you can use it for uh, clear stamps with the foam pad or if you take the foam pad out, you can use it for rubber stamping as well. Um, so that's the Misty. The next one that I have here is the We Are Memory Keepers Precision Press stamp positioning tool. Now this one um, you can get at quite a few different places. Um, I think I got this one at scrapbook.com. Um, but this one is a lower price point than the Misty. Um, it's somewhere in the mid range, maybe around 30 or $40 or so. Um, it does have the grid on the outside, which is nice. It has a little bit of a grid on the inside also, but it is kind of ridged. So you'll see that this is textured. Um, so if you wanted to do any sort of writing or anything like that, you don't want to do it while it's on top of this because um, you will get lines in your work. Um, the lid is quite a bit heavier than the Misty tool. The Misty tool is fairly thin. Um, this one is kind of heavy. It's a little bit bulky. Um, so the nice thing about that is it gives you a little bit more pressure so that you can just close the lid. You don't really have to do the pressing that you might do with the Misty to get an even coverage. Uh, this one kind of does it for you because it's a little heavier. Uh, the other thing is this does not have a foam pad. Uh, that can be removed. I haven't tried to use it with any rubber stamps yet as I do mostly uh, clear stamps, um, but there may be enough room here. You can see there's a little bit of a gap there. There might be enough room, but I would say it would be very close if, if at all. Um, this is mainly made to do clear stamps from my understanding. Um, the other thing is, as you can see here, uh, 
it seems to stain very easily. Now I've only used this probably two times and you can see either I am a very careless stamper or this stains really easily. Um, I hope it's the latter, <laughs> um, but it, it does. And this is purely cosmetic, um, but if you don't like that, then this might not be the tool for you. It doesn't really bother me that much, so um, that's okay. Now the nice thing about this is it is larger than the Mini Misty to begin with. Um, it goes all the way out to seven inches both directions and it doesn't have the lip going all the way around. So it has the lip here and here, but not on the bottom and left edges. So you can actually use 12 by 12 scrapbook paper by turning it um, so that you can use it in all four corners. You can actually reach the center of your paper in every direction. Um, so this is great if you have a lower uh, price point and you still want to be able to get a stamp positioning tool and you are a scrapbooker. If you're a card maker, you might not need something quite as large um, and the Mini Misty might work perfectly for you, but this is uh, a little bit more flexibility if you need that. And the last one that I have here is the new Hampton Art Stamp Perfect Stamp Positioning Tool. Now this is new, it's only been out for just a little while. Um, and I actually just took mine out of the box today and figured I would give it a try. So this one is similar in appearance to the Mini Misty. It is larger, uh, so that's nice. It gives you a little bit more wiggle room as far as moving your stamps around and creating layouts or creating backgrounds. Um, for all intents and purposes, it's very, very similar to the Misty. It has the thin lid. Now this one is thinner and a little bit more bendy. Um, then the Misty, the Misty uh, feels a little bit more rigid. You can probably hear this squeaking. <laughs> um, the squeaking will probably drive some people nuts. Uh, it doesn't really bother me too much, but um, it does squeak every time you open and close it. Uh, I don't know if that's just mine or maybe that's all of them, I'm not sure, but if that's a deal breaker for you, maybe don't get this one. <laughs> um, you can see here it does come with the two magnets, just like the Misty does. Uh, they are also very strong and can pinch you. Um, it comes with the marked out ruler edges, as well as the little lip to keep all of your um, paper in line. The foam mat does also come out and you have the grid here, just like in the Misty, so that you can use your rubber stamps as well as your clean uh, clear stamps with the foam pad. Um, so I thought I would just do a really quick demonstration with the Stamp Perfect. Um, I have a uh, three by three sheet of Nina cardstock that I pre-cut um, that I will use. <clears throat> and I am actually going to use this stamp set from Altenew. It's called Beautiful Day. Um, and I just love these images. So I figured this would be a great one to use. I'm gonna do the large flower here. So I actually need three images. And we'll just get those off and then get started. Okay, so I've got my three images here. Um, and you can see you build you build up the stamp using the different images. Uh, so what we'll do is I'll leave these two up here. So the first one that I need is <clears throat> the solid image. So this one is going to be the bottom layer. You always want to start with the most solid image. I'll use my magnets to keep it in place. Uh, so once you have it where you want it on your paper, you just go ahead and close the lid and it picks it up for you. Now the stamps are a little sticky sometimes and that can move your paper. The nice thing about having this edge here is that you can always put it right back in the same exact spot and know that it's gonna be exactly where you need it. Now I have three colors of ink that I'm using. I have um, Hero Art Shadow inks that I chose to use. Now they may not be a perfect color match but they'll work for this. Um, so I have Fresh Peach, uh, soft cantaloupe and pale tomato and I'm going to start with my lightest color so I'm going to use the fresh peach and I'm going to ink up my stamp. Now the nice thing about these stamp positioning tools is that if you don't get perfect coverage the first time you can always just go ahead and stamp it again and you don't have to worry about lining it up. Um, I am horrible at using acrylic blocks 
So these stamp positioning tools are lifesavers for me. Uh, now you can see that I didn't get a great stamped image here. It's a little bit splotchy. Um, the Hero Arts shadow inks will solidify a little bit after you let them absorb into the paper, but this is a little bit more splotchy than I would like. So I'm gonna go ahead and re-ink my stamp and we'll just stamp it again. Now stamping it multiple times in the same color will make it a little bit darker. Um, so that might change the way our stamp looks a little bit um, in the end result, but it should be okay. Now I've got a little spot here that's not stamping quite perfectly, but I think that um, might be that I didn't quite get my stamp flat on the lid. So we won't worry about that quite right now. All right, so now that I've done my base image, I'm gonna move on to my next most solid image. And once I get that lined up, then we can go ahead and stamp it again. Okay. And again, my stamp is a little bit sticky, but that's okay. We can just tuck it right back here in the corner, put our magnets back, and we're good to go. And I'm gonna move on to the soft cantaloupe ink it up really well and give it a little bit of pressure. Now you don't want to push very hard. Um, you don't need a ton of pressure in order to get it to work, um, but there you have it. Now my stamp is a little bit not lined up quite perfectly, um, but you can see that the colors are beautiful together. That base color is a little darker since we stamped it twice, um, but it still looks great with that color. And then finally, we have the least solid image of those three. And we just want to line it up. Now these ones I sometimes have a little trouble with if I'm not directly over it, so excuse me if I block out the light at all. Okay, and then we're gonna close the door, pick up the stamp, make sure our stamp is right where we want it. Go ahead and ink this up with the pale tomato. Now this is the darkest of our three colors. And close the lid. I don't think I got it lined up quite perfectly. I didn't wanna get my head in the video. All right, so there we have it. So you still see that outline from the first one that I didn't quite line up, but look how pretty those colors look together. Um, these stamps from Alta New are just gorgeous and I love them. Um, they give you uh, such great results for sympathy cards or, um, I mean, congratulations cards, wedding cards, just about anything. Um, you know, a lot of stamp sets tend to be kind of cartoony and I love that, but this is a great thing to have in your inventory. So there you have it. That is a look at the Stamp Perfect. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. Uh, be sure to leave me a comment and let me know what you thought of my very first YouTube video. Um, I will link to all of the products that I use in the description below. I will also have a link to my blog if you'd like to follow me there. Uh, hopefully I will see you again. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.